that was a terribly sad story. But he did a show called The Last Clear Chance, and and uh, it was a great coup to get Muni because Muni didn't do television, and he was America's greatest actor. And they had just it was sort of a joke. I mean, I George Hill, we'd offered. I loved working with George. We'd sent the script to George, and he didn't want to do it. I said, well, what if I got Muni? And George said, you get Muni, and I'll do the show. So I said, well, I'm going to try to get Muni. And everybody in business affairs and all the people sort of laughed and said, sure you will. So I sent it to Bella Muni, who read everything for him, and they liked it. And he said he would do it. But he had said that the way he learned the script, he memorized it. He put it on records and played them, and he, and he, we couldn't change it, but you would have to, he would, that's how he memorized. And nobody took that very seriously because he was such a wonderful actor, and it, he, was, he came from, he, everything seemed so real. And so we, you know, so they, you can't, ever do a television show without changing it because it's too long and you cut and things get changed. And they kept changing things. And and Bella would come to me and say, you know, it's really dangerous to do this. And finally, she came and said, Muni doesn't know his lines. And we sent people over. I would go and cue him. Various people would volunteer to cue him. And it was strange because he knew the show. He understood the the, the line of the show. And you'd say, you know, just say anything, Muni. You could say, you know, you don't have to say exactly what the line is. But he couldn't do that. He had been raised in the classics, and he felt it was a sin not to say the line as written. Because did he have an earpiece? Well, no, he didn't have anything because he just tried to do the show. And then mm -hmm. finally, the day before the or day before the show, George said, "There's just no way. I mean, we're going to have to run a tape. We're going to not be able to run it." I said, well, we did this show where an actor got sick and Dan Petrie went in on John of Justice, an early justice, and we put the director in because he knew the moves, but he didn't know the dialogue. So we fed him the dialogue through the stage manager's ear. We put the stage manager's hearing aid in his ear, and the PA fed him the lines from the booth. Mm. Okay. And... Somebody said, you know, who would have the courage to ask the world's greatest actor to do that, to go to Muni and say, would you do that? And George asked him, and he said yes. And that's what he did. And he was wonderful. I mean, it's quite a remarkable performance.